So um, what would help you the most? So, for example, I am a business owner or an entrepreneur and I am building a relationship with you. And what is the next step? So I liked your articles and I commented them and I warmed up the relationship. And what would be the next step? What should I do next? For example, when I'm planning an event or a product launch, um, when should I contact you? And what what should I write to you? Should I write a press release, or what what, what is what, what advice would you give? Mm, great point. So what I would highly recommend is that see if I'm writing articles where I'm promoting other people's stuff. If I'm not doing that, then I'm not the right person to reach out to. Now that said, see if I have other venues where I am promoting people. So, for example, like I'll share, I have a podcast. So there we just kind of take a select few because currently, you know, we have a waiting list of 100 people. So that's one of the key things, doing your research, doing your work, that okay, that if I'm connecting with a person, is that person promoting or not promoting? If they're promoting, on what venues are they promoting? And if that's the venue that you really want to get your product launch out, so, for example, Jakob, you know, like, for example, one of the best ways is that if something is coming up, you have heard one of my podcasts and at the end of my podcast, we always say that, okay, you know, what's next for you? Or if somebody has written a book or if they're launching a program, we talk about it and then how people can reach out and how people can connect. So it's very open. It's very evident. So look at my different podcasts and see, okay, what is it? that drives me to pick up that person. So for example, you know, we have a whole media team who picks people based on what is going on in the industry. So always link whatever is happening with relevant news. For example, let's say if somebody's launching a program about stress, how to reduce stress, then COVID-19 is happening and then go and check out that initially, like in the month of March and April, I had a couple of podcasts around that. Now, they're not happening. So it's about seeing what is going on in any person's life, what kind of articles they're writing, what they're doing, and even in conversation, finding out and then approaching them with that pitch. Because, and even asking a simple thing that, okay, hey, Divya, you know what? This is what I'm thinking. Would you be open to promoting it? And also, I would go and check out those people's social media posts. Are they promoting other people's posts or not? Are they promoting people's launches or not? If they're not, most likely they're not going to be doing that because they may have their own social media strategy. So, for example, what I do is like, for example, let's say if I'm promoting somebody, I usually do to a segment of my email list or to a segment of people on LinkedIn followers because not everybody is interested in everybody's programs. So it's about finding out, having that conversation, and then seeing if it works for both of you, including yourself and the other person who's supporting you. Because the key is always remember, how can you help the other person first? before asking, provide value, provide value, provide what value. And then you'll find that automatically that reciprocity happens. Yes, very good answer. I think one key thing is that you, uh, like you said, you, you're giving. And the best way to give is that you say things like, I have an audience, a target audience, and... This is the same like the, the audience that you have. And I can increase your follower with my social media following. And this is just try to create win-wins. This is, I think, something also very important. Mm -hmm. you, hit, you hit right on the mark. Because what I'll tell you is that that's not something that I look for. However, that said, my media team will look for that. That because... What they're in the process of doing is they're also promoting the whole, let's say, the radio network. 
So if they're doing that radio network, then they want to get the word out there too. So the collaboration between people who are willing to promote the other person or a person like, you know, who's willing to have that win-win situation, they're definitely going to get an edge over the other person who's not talking about anything else except for themselves.